the distinctives of a recruited athlete. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 113. Hello, I'm John Fugler, your Athletic Scholarship Coach. I'm also an author, a speaker, a father of two scholarship athletes. I also played Division One ball myself, and I'm a lifelong Dodger fan. Oh, I hear the groans. I hear some cheers as well. Yeah, the Dodgers made it to the World Series. We'll see how they do against the Boston Red Sox. Got a lot of respect for the Red Sox. I don't know how this thing's going to turn out, but I'm surprised the Dodgers are here. I've been a Dodger fan. I don't know. I don't want to tell you. It's been since I was like 10 years old, maybe maybe 11, Dodger fan. Yeah, I, I love all the players. Um, well, you know, not all of them because some of them are not representing what I call true Dodger blue. Some of the guys, yeah, a few. I don't want to mention any names, but uh, initials of the one guy, uh, Manny Machado. Uh, not going to mention any names, though. Anyway, let's get into this uh, <laughs> this podcast. Um, the distinctives of a recruited athlete. I guess you could kind of call this uh, part two. Part two of how to get exposure. We're going to go a little bit deeper than we did last week. I'll do a review of that in a moment. If you didn't get a listen to the show, please go back and listen to that. Um, would love to have you do that. Hey, could you help me out? Um, help me out in two ways. One, share this episode with other people. All you got to do, if if you can just share the link, forward the link to somebody, email the link to someone, that would be awesome. No matter what podcast app you're using or if you're listening uh, right off my website, share the link. I want to help more families. And if you've been blessed by this podcast, then then let others know. Secondly, would you give me a review? Um, it's really easy on the on the Apple Podcast app now. There, there's a spot down at the, if you scroll down to the bottom of the show, it says write a review. If you go to the show page, not the episode page, but the podcast uh, entire podcast page just says write a view, write a review, and I, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Um, I got a I got four stars, but my latest one was from two years ago, and I have not appealed. And I need to I need to beg you to review this podcast and be as specific as you can. Okay, uh, this guy says he's a corn husker, and he says I really enjoyed this podcast as John provides a ton of information on what to do and what not to do to get your child recruited. I take notes on every episode. Well, uh, that's that's a student. But but please, give me a review. That would really be helpful. Here's where uh, I want to go today. First of all, let's review last week because the number one issue that families are facing is, is how to get exposure. How do I get on coaches' radar? I mean, not just recruited, but how do I get in front of coaches? That is the biggest issue for parents and athletes. And I shared three things, actually four. Um, the first one was know your strengths. Great place to start. Secondly, promote your strengths. And third, develop your strengths. Go back to the episode last week. Hear the details on that. Oh, oh my fourth one, promote your strengths. John, you already said that. That was the second one. Well, it is so important. I put it in there twice. You get you get it. Um, anyway, go back and listen to that. We're going to build on that this week. And I'm pretty excited because next week we're going to start a series. I will be on every single day beginning next Tuesday. And I'll be sharing with you the recruiting funnel, how to go from prospect to scholarship how to go from prospect to scholarship. We're going to take seven days and run through each of these keys to going from prospect to scholarship. Some of the things I'll be sharing will be brand new, brand new content in some of it. Uh, and so listen when you can. It'll be a little bit shorter probably because I'm going seven days, but one will build on the other. Hey, you could catch it in, in the middle too and you'll get some value out of it. So that starts next Tuesday. And then something I have been planning for several months now that I want to make available to you is the new Recruit Me system. Brand new multimedia, video, audio, digital. This is the, the complete package for you. 
The new Recruit Me system is almost here. November 1st is when I'll be launching that. Uh, and more details on that as November 1st gets closer. But remember, this is this is going to be fantastic. This will have more tools to get the job done faster and easier for you uh, in the whole recruiting process all the way to an athletic scholarship. I do want to mention that I've still got my recruiting power pack available on my website. It's a download, three elements there that will change uh, the way you handle and approach recruiting. Uh, you go to recruitme.com, just download it, recruit-me.com, download that grab it. And again, my Amazon book is doing really well these days. It's audiobook. It's a paperback. It's an ebook on Kindle. You get that on Amazon, the Athletic Scholarship Playbook. It seems to be something that families are really gravitating to because it's uh, it's simple, bite-sized. I write the way I speak. <laughs> and we're having a conversation in this book. And that's what people have said. It's simple, easy to follow. I feel like you're right here with me, John. Well, Tonight, uh, we're going to be talking about, maybe you're listening to the daytime, I'm recording this at night. I record these right before they air, though. I want to be as relevant as possible. And it's Monday night as I'm in my studio, releasing this on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be talking about, in this episode, uh, the distinctives of a recruited athlete. What makes this person, this athlete, really stand out among other athletes to move them just from athlete to a recruit? What are those things? I'm not going to give you a list of 10. You don't need that. We need focus. Just like last week, I gave you three unique things on how to get exposure. Uh, in this episode, we'll be really talking about three distinctives, as it says in the title, of the recruited athlete. Uh, this is something, parents, that you can jot notes down and pass along to your athlete, have a discussion, or have him or her listen to this episode. Athlete. Uh, these are things you got to know, and these are things that you've got to do. Uh, the first one is be intentional. Be intentional. Recruiting doesn't just happen. Uh, that's why I've spent the last 15 plus years walking families through the process, and being intentional is the key. If you don't have a target, you're not going to hit it. I had my first chance at uh, target practice, shot a gun, a pistol a couple weeks ago. I'd never done that before. <laughs> Can you believe that? BB gun, yes. But here I was trying to learn this thing. And I, I, how can you miss with some of these, some of these target practice pistols? It's got, it's almost electronic, you know, sights. And I was able to hit it. I was really aiming hard, really had that target in mind, and I hit it. Well, the same thing is with this whole recruiting process. You have to be intentional. You have to have a goal. You have to have a target. You can't wander around. The clock is running, and you need to beat the buzzer. Think of it that way. For us, in our process with our, our boys, uh, we set aside time. We were intentional. We set aside time. I still remember so vividly in my mind our kids – sitting at the kitchen table working on uh, communication to coaches, uh, maybe filling out paperwork, um, creating documents, uh, documenting their communication with coaches that they've had so they could keep it all straight. They wrote it down. But I, I, I see them sitting there right now working on this. There are certain things you have to do in order to get recruited. You've got to be intentional. One of those things is set aside times. Another thing, as I mentioned, you got to have a goal. You got to have a target. You cannot sit back and wait. You have to be intentional. All right? You got to have a plan. That's so important. Uh, you can't be intentional without a plan. You got to know where you're going. Don't just create activity. Be intentional. Be focused. Now, Another thing, second thing you need to, uh, a distinctive of a recruited athlete is be flexible. Be flexible. Uh, for us, we were going down the road with one coach in particular. And, man, we had phone calls. We had letters going back and forth. I mean, we were past the letter stage. We were on the phone call stage. And you know what? All of a sudden, the, the calls stopped. And I, I, to this day, I still don't know why. Um, there was a genuine interest there in our kids. I thought we're showing a genuine interest. We had twin sons, 
Uh, and a lot of times the coaches would be recruiting both of them. So I say our kids, they, they both got on the phone with the coach. But I don't know what happened there. It just kind of fell apart. So what did we do? Did we just um, stop and and wander for a while? No, we got back on the we got back on the bus. We got intentional and we were flexible. We began working with other coaches. We expanded our list. Uh, we didn't just we didn't wander. We didn't say this is the school we want to go to. I'm going to do anything I can to get into that school. No, you've got to be flexible. Your plans may not work out. The end result may be totally different and far away from where you think you're going to be going now, even if you've got an interest from certain schools. Communication can die out. You've got to be willing to be flexible. Uh, it gets hot and cold. Um, you, you think you're going down one path and boom, you get a roadblock. Uh, maybe you don't even get into that school that you had your heart set on. Make sure that you have a, a, a wide net that you're casting um, and be flexible. Be flexible. Um, it, it, that's so important. So there's a balance there. You've got to be intentional because you have a goal. You're moving down in a certain direction. You're taking action in the recruiting process. Uh, but at the same time, you've got you to gotta be flexible. I hope you, hope you understand that. If that's confusing, go ahead and email me and we, I can explain that further. Maybe we can have a conversation, uh, john at recruitme.com. So we've got be intentional, be flexible. And the third thing, the third distinctive of a recruited athlete is he or she is exceptional. Be exceptional. Now you're going to think I'm talking about athletic talent. That's not always the case. You don't have to be the top tier, the top athlete on your team, in the county, in the state. I mean, you, when I say exceptional, I'm not referring to that. Yes, you have to be talented. You have to have the ability to compete at the next level. The ability to compete in college. What I'm saying is exceptional is you do things that other athletes don't in order to get recruited and stay recruited. Be exceptional. Stand out from the crowd. Stand out from the crowd. Uh, I think about uh, uh, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers, of course. He won the National League Championship Series MVP. Well, the, the, the kid struck out 17 times last year, I think, in the World Series. He struck out quite a few times this year, too. But he had some key hits that won the series for the Dodgers. He didn't have a high batting average. He had some tremendous plays in the field. But he got better from that last year to this year. He became exceptional because he worked on it. He worked on it. He did some things in the offseason to become better so that he wouldn't strike out as much, so he would have some more key hits, so he wouldn't <laughs> embarrass himself, and, and it paid off this year. Um, so the mark of a top athlete is that he works hard. That makes that athlete exceptional. So as you think about what you're doing on the field, that's important. Now, off the field is what I want to talk about, is you be exceptional in these ways. One, you don't wait. You don't stand around and wait for coaches to find you. You find them. 95% of your teammates will, will, if they desire to play college ball or run track or, or what, they will wait. They'll wait to be found. No, don't do that. Be exceptional. Go out there and approach coaches. Second way that you can be exceptional is you take the initiative to go to certain camps so you can be seen by coaches. Go to the right camps uh, and tournaments as well. Do more than what some of the other athletes are doing. Uh, if you're competing on an elite team, these athletes are doing that. They're not waiting. They're going to camps. They're going to tournaments. Uh, but among them, if you're in their crowd where they're doing these exceptional things, that's good. You'll be among the exceptional athletes. Um, contact many coaches. That's another thing you can do to stand out from the crowd. Don't have a small list. I've got my heart set on these one of these five schools. These are my favorite. Well, you can't do that because the chances of you going to one of those five schools are pretty slim, most likely. Uh, there are too many variables involved. It's not just up to you. There are a lot of variables involved in, in getting a scholarship 
at a college. So you got to have a, a large list. Contact many coaches. I referred to it earlier is cast your net wide. Please do that. Please have a, a long list of schools that you are approaching. You're taking an initiative on. You're being intentional with. Contact many coaches. Cast your net wide. For us, man, we researched. We kept the list growing. If one, uh, if several schools dropped off, which which happens, then you replace them with other schools. You keep that fluid, keep it going, and that paid off for us. Uh, if coaches contact you, even if you don't think you're interested, say yes. <laughs> I mean, if if they want you to fill out the questionnaire, say yes, I'll do it. You got to keep that going. Of course, when you come down to the to the end, you're narrowing things down. But I'm talking about in this whole process, you want to keep things alive. So it, it involves saying yes to keeping the process going with many of these schools. Those are those three things. The distinctives of a recruited athlete. Be intentional. Be flexible. Be exceptional in the way you do this recruiting thing. All right, next week, going to start that series. Uh, we're really going to go into, uh, you know, we talked about how to get exposure last week. Um, this is going to be how to do that expanded as I talk about the recruiting funnel, how to go from prospect to scholarship. Yeah, we're going to talk about how to get exposure uh, more than we did last week. going to blow that up, really look at it. But we're going to go much farther than that. I just don't. I don't want you to just get exposure. I want you to get that scholarship. And there are key things that you can do in order to make that happen. I mean, you can't have complete control out of it. Of it, but you can do things that really, really increase your chances. And have worked for thousands of athletes over the years. I want you to know these things. I want to help you get from from prospect to scholarship. Prospect to scholarship. And we'll kick that into gear next Tuesday. Also on November 1st, the new, brand new Recruit Me system, multimedia, many more tools. And I'm really excited to release that, to launch that. Uh, and that's coming up in just, just a few days, November 1st. Okay. We'll talk to you next Tuesday. In the meantime, make sure you go back and listen to last episode. If you haven't already, maybe a couple more before that, get as much knowledge as you can, that you can apply, keep it focused and, uh, you will get recruited. If you have any questions, email me, John, J O N at recruit hyphen me.com.